everybody. I'm Susie Orman, and you are watching The Susie Orman Show. But here's the question for all of you. Why are you watching The Susie Orman Show? Yes, yes, I know. There are many of you watching because you want to really learn about finances. You want to hear what other people are doing, and hopefully you want to learn from their mistakes or the things they've done well. But there are many of you that are watching to hear the segment and watch the segment, Can I Afford It? You know, that segment where you call in, you tell me what it is that you want to buy, and I tell you if you can afford it or not. That is the most popular segment on this show. But I want to talk to you about that segment because I have to say it's not just about can you afford this thing that you want to buy. It's about can you afford your life. Please listen to me right now. I know that you work hard, and I know that you want to buy these things. And I know that one of the biggest mistakes that you make is you're making a certain amount of money right now, and the truth of the matter is you can afford the payment for a new car right now. You can afford, in your mind, to finance new furniture that you put on your credit cards because you can afford the payment on that credit card right now. But it's not about right now. It's about what happens if you get sick. You die. You get laid off. So here are the questions that I want you to ask yourself. Not can I afford it, but can you afford your life? Can you afford to live if you get sick? All of a sudden, you can't work anymore. You don't even have enough money for health insurance. Now you're in the hospital. Now all these things are going on. The medical bills are piling up. What happens to your life? Can you afford your life if you get laid off? Right now you're laid off. You no longer have a paycheck coming in. You don't have any savings or emergency accounts. You have credit card debt. You're upside down on your mortgage. You have all this furniture in this beautiful home that you can't afford anymore, but you don't have a payment. You don't have any money coming in to afford your life. These are the questions that you have got to ask. You get sick. You get laid off. You get, you know, you, know, you die. Things happen. Can your family afford it? So before you do anything from this day forward, this isn't about things. You hear me say it at the end of every show. People first, then money, then things. When I'm talking about people, I'm talking about you. I'm talking about the quality of your life. And the quality of your life depends on the money coming in and the money going out just for you to sustain yourself, to feed yourself, to shelter yourself, to put gasoline in your car, to make sure that you and your family are okay. So the question is, can you afford your life? And I hope with every decision that you make, you come back to that question. So the answer is absolutely 